All right, so usually people use Shikamaru as support uh, because he does come back relatively quickly. Um, and his bags are very good for utility. They're good for resets, um, good for pressuring, and they're good for multiple different setups. Uh, it lingers, has good tracking, it's a sub trap. And, um, and since Shikamaru does come back quickly as support, that means it refills your storm gauge faster. And when your storm gauge becomes active, Shikamaru, uh, you get your support back and then you can just call them again. So it just makes it a very long day. Um, and you will always have to be fighting Shikamaru throughout the match. That much is true. Okay, so yeah, he's very good support. I will say that. But I don't think he's better. Uh, number one, I think that there are other supports that come back uh, just as fast. Some come back faster. Jiraiya uh, comes back really fast. Um, but it's just that, like, Jiraiya isn't pick up and play, right? You have to know how to place uh, his support. So because Shikamaru is so user-friendly, and he just kind of pick up and play, and it, like, it, it doesn't really involve too much labbing, um, this is just obviously the, the, the better option. But I don't think that it's meta. One of the reasons why I think I don't think it's meta is because it's so easy, or well, not easy, but there's many different ways of dealing with his backs, right? So, for example, which I'm sure by now a lot of us already kind of know some of this stuff, All right? But you can do that. All right, you can also dash. All right. You can do something like that. Same thing in the air. Okay. All right, you can dash. All right. So now also I will say that in my labbing, I found that, um, and this could just be my imagination, but I think PTS Shikamaru bags are better because they seem to track faster than uh, Shippuden Shikamaru uh, bags. And that, 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 that could just be me imagining things, but yeah. Though I do think that Shikamaru is a better lead uh, point character if you were to use him in that way. Uh, Shippuden Shikamaru, because he can, um, I mean, he just has very decent tech, like uh, like the instant guard breaking the double combo, right? Which you can also blue dash on, okay. And then, like, just the easy resets he has for, like, damage scaling. I don't mean to do that. You know? Very easy to punish. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of um, his Jutsu, uh, his Grounded as well, which uh, I really like that, his J1. So, you know, that also gives you an, an extender. Um, but in any case, he's mostly used as, as support. So... Um, and an, another way to kind of also beat um, or to deal with to deal with the bags is when you when when you lead your opponent. So what I mean by leading your opponent is let's say uh, let's say like um, the bags like it, he's called in as support. The bags are coming out, and you see the bags coming towards you. Just keep doing your combo and lead them away. You know, like use the momentum as your combo to lead them away, and you can even like take them up, all right? And then dash and just just keep like pushing them away from the backs, right? So you're you're leading them away. Uh, so that's one way to deal with it. You can also um, complete your combo or whatever, all right, to cancel it out, or you can just dash grab if you see them coming. But that's all kind of situational. Um, most players, when they use Shikamaru support, they're doing it to approach. And in cases like that, you can deny the play. So sometimes you have to ask yourself, like, w what are you doing? Like, uh, how are you being proactive when you know your opponent has Shikamaru as support? Right? Like, are you denying the plays or are you just waiting uh, for the bags to, like, uh, complete or like you're waiting for it, um, the jutsu to just go away or something? Or are you just standing still? 
You know, like if you see the bags coming or the support called out, you can deny the play by switching out of the tracking, right? Or if you see the bags come up, dash switch, which will break the tracking still and then just follow up, right? Or you can jutsu your way out of it, right? You see the bags coming, like deny the play, right? So like, let's say the opponent is on, because uh, usually like in S4, S4, you have a very typical approach at Lauren to the Lash, right? Where back back in the day, right? You would do something like that. I forgot this dude has a, a J1 and J2. Do something like that, right? And then you would you would approach, like you would follow up, right? But in a situation like that, you can deny the play by just clearing out this jutsu right with the jutsu that has more priority so deny the approach okay so if they do that and switch well now i'm trying to play with two hands but if they do that and switch and i'm not fast enough because i like i'm trying to play with two controllers but the point is if they do that right you can just call out a fireball clear out naruto right and deny deny the approach but i'm just saying like that's a very basic example but what like what are you doing to deny the play you know like you see a lot of times even in competitive sets players like uh the a typical team like hanzo tamari and, Sh and shikamaru and if, you know shikamaru supports caught out whatever they're just staying on hanzo you know they're not trying to break the tracking they're not trying to do whatever they're just you know but you you have options so if you see your opponent has Shikamaru support, you might have to be a little bit more proactive in, in your gameplay. You might have to, you know, start like denying the plays, denying, you know, their their uh, follow ups, denying the jutsu. Shikamaru has no priority on, on these bags have no priority. All right. Dashes go through them. Uh, other jutsus beat them. You know, so you see these coming, you could ju just do a jutsu and, 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 and beat the priority because these things have very low priority. You know, um, another thing, too, you might have to play a little more patient. So if you see the backs coming, don't suck. Let 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 them hit you. Like if you're caught in a combo and they call out the well, if you're a combo and they call out Shikamaru support and the bags are coming and they hit you you don't have to sub sub it right you don't have to waste the sub just let the bags hit you and just let let it reset to neutral and just you know follow back up with a, an, another play you just might have to play a little patient so like let the backs confirm let, let, let them let them hit you and then make you know go ahead and uh make a a, a new approach so it's just like you might have to play more patient. Another thing you could do is if you see them, they, uh, they call out their support, Shikamaru support, you can call out your support, whether that be like Momoshiki, um, Tamari, or Pain, like, I, I mean, I don't know, you know, whatever you have. So again, deny the approach, okay? Because now they have to respect your support, you know? So it's like uh, it's just you have many different options that you can you can do. Um, so you know I I, I mean Sh Shikamaru is is good, but I don't see why why they they consider him meta because he's he's not all the Shikamaru's that I fought and I fought really good players. I fought players that smacked me up, and I, I still never once. If if they had Shikamaru or if anyone else had Shikamaru, I never felt oppressed by this. Never, I never felt oppressed by somebody calling out Shikamaru backs. You just have to play differently. You know, you just you just have to make different options. And I understand too that because he's so user friendly and he's so easy to just pick up and play, that you know this is a more attractive option than other support. 
But, um, you know, that just kind of goes back to labbing. Lab, labbing the game and labbing these other characters and what they're good at and and how to how to use them in the neutral you know um lear learning uh you know their uh cool down times which I i'll post the the uh the spreadsheet in the description of all the character cooldowns you know and finding like just different characters and 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 what these other characters can do and what makes them great you know, there's there's plenty of good options out there. There's options that are better than much better than Shikamaru, in my opinion. Um, you know, it just comes down to that. I think one of the one of the major issues with Storm Connections, as far as like player growth, uh, like skill wise or gameplay wise, is that. When the game first came out, everybody hated it so much. It was so much negativity. And so nobody put in that kind of time, at least from what I, I could see. Well, not I wouldn't say everybody. But a lot of people weren't putting in that kind of time like they did in S4. When they were labbing, they were coming up with teams, they were like really breaking characters down and seeing how they worked and trying to understand the game. I didn't really see that at, at the launch of Storm Connections. So you had players in competitive sets who honestly mainly just played, played Storm 4 even when Connections dropped. But when they were playing for money for Connections, they would just hop on Connections. They would just pick the quote unquote meta characters that just kind of pick up and play like Shikamaru, uh, Pre-Patch, Hagoromo, right? And just go in and play the competitive set. So you just saw the same characters all the time because I mean nobody even bothered to lab anything else, right? They would just just pick just pick Hanzo, just pick Shikamaru, just pick Hagaromo, because they work. So nobody nobody really like tried to see what these other characters other characters can do, or try to learn how to do how to play against Shikamaru, which is not like which is not difficult to do. So that's that's kind of all, all like all I'm saying. I don't think that he's meta. I think he's very good. Um, I think he's very solid. I think he is very user friendly. Um, I think you can slap him on any team, and you'll have synergy. Um, but I don't think that he's meta. I, I just don't. So, but I'm up to here. You know, if anybody disagrees. Um, you know, that's cool. Uh, I'm down to hear other people's point of view, other people's thoughts on it. Uh, but that's uh, that's it for me in uh, regards to in regards to this. I'll uh, I'll catch y'all later.